Ah, silly, silly. Project Anadiar, ladies and gentlemen. It brings the um, it brings the interesting conversation topics of war and destruction and dicta dictators and evil. And then there's buildings that have no doors and you have to use windows to enter them and pressure pads and. <laughs> Uh, okay, okay, enough of that, enough of that. Enough of making fun of MP2's wacky level designs. Let's just move on and actually, yeah, get this thing done. There's a stem back here, but that's not what I want right now. Thank you. Um, I, what I do need, however, is a key card, maybe. Oh, wait. Is this a... No, no, it's not. Wait, can I just... Maybe? Maybe, hold on a second. Maybe I can just run through that and not having to jump through or something. Can I just... No, 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 I can't. Maybe if I... No, it's... Maybe. No, I can't. No room to jump over. Well, I probably could try to force it, but that will be too much fiddling. I'm pretty sure there is a proper way to jump over to that section. Or maybe there is a secret and, well, I am just being rather silly. This is an elevator though. It has that elevator-like texture to it. So maybe, maybe that, that thing here, this thing here. It, okay, yeah, okay, I gotcha. Uh, mark it on the map. Careful. Could get uh, some, um, what's it called? Vertigo here. Sorry about that if that happens. Right, should just get there fine and easy, provided I don't, de okay, I just delete that around. Uh, should I just took this path and not go around like that. Yeah, there we go. This is good. Much better. Significantly much better. Of course, predictable as pie. Allow me. Excuse me, um, hmm. Yes. No, actually, don't. Don't use the raven. Oh, wait. I didn't see you before. <laughs> Hello there. Well, goodbye. You've been a good host. But that's all that. That's all she wrote. Also, you... Wait. I'm kind of a bit wary right now whether or not I should use the ballistic knife because I don't want to shoot it in a place where I can't reach. You know the old problem with me and saving things. Sometimes I save too much. Okay, oh look at that, there's a lot of frag cannon, can't wait to never use it at all until the final boss where I just spend like 6 shots out of 100 and totally obliterate the boss. Yeah, can't wait, can't wait. Look, it's just my behavior, alright, I can't help it. I save things a lot, unless in emergencies. Well, uh, well, actually, the frag cannon is actually rare enough that I will consider every time I use it, I think that's the thing. With games like Serious Sam or uh, Doom, I have no, I have little to no problems just using the rocket launcher willy nilly because there's ammo for it lying all over the place. But with something like, like the frag cannon, you could get a hundred rockets for it, yes, but more often than not, you're given only single pickups and maybe a box or two if you're attentive. And well, not finding a lot of ammo for it, finding a ton, a ton of ammo for it, anyways gets my um, resource managing head going and well I think no you're not a problem and I think well yeah that could be a contributor to why you absolute imbeciles you somehow just destroy yourself like that anyway back to the other thought that's exactly why I tend to save frag cannon ammo to such a ridiculous degree that well by the end of the episode I just have like a hundred of them Consistently, because that's just my rule. I don't use important things until I'm absolutely, absolutely at my wit's end. And well, right now is not at my wit's end, even with those armor vehicles shooting, excuse me, armor vehicles shooting rockets at me. I find them easy to deal with with just the shotgun alone. The, sim the simplicity and elegance of buckshot somehow just, you know, trampling all over 
hard work or top armor. You know that? No, no, I don't. I don't want to do that. I was sort of considering an enemy that is mostly immune to certain weapons. Well, not exactly immune, but more take less damage up. I think damage factor is a thing. Yeah, in, in, it is. So while enemies could take like, um, say, a couple dozen shotgun shells to the face, but would, you know, just fall under one or two rocket launcher shots, you know, that could add a bit more thought to the combat instead of just me willy-nilly shooting at everything hoping for the best. Or maybe, maybe it already is a thing here and I'm just being really stubborn. That could be a possibility. Though usually what people do is that they would damage factor powerful weapons like rocket launchers or BFGs. They don't damage factor weak weapons like bullets or shells because why would you want to do that? Players are encouraged, if anything, to use weak weapons against bosses because, you know, that would be the, the cricket method. And, well, you want to be fair and square, you know? You don't want to use all of your most powerful weapons in the first basket and hoping that, you know, it just, it just totally the enemy. Even though, realistically, it would. You know, you save your most powerful weapon, why don't you just go nuts with it? Did this just lock? No, okay, no, never mind. Thought for a second I'm gonna be locked out here. Yes, something just opened here. Okay, good. Just be careful. Just be extremely careful. Alright. So, one pickup of this. I forgot how many ammo do I get with this? Oh, wow, okay, that just builds the whole thing. I. Hmm. I'll mark you on the map then. There's that blue armor too that I just went past that I saved up. So, eh, there's not a lot of enemies left. We could probably have a have a good day here in a moment. Maybe. So far, so good, actually. I haven't died once. I haven't died at all. You know, I played a, another one of MP2's mod the other day. Uh, Cronus Camp for Wayward Boys. Very, very good stealth horror mod. Very good. I, I could not recommend, recommend it more. Except for, well, one problem. Well, actually, let me just say why I liked it first. You know how I occasionally run Sneaky Doom, right? And well, oh, I should've just... Oh, hello there. It's you guys again. Oh, dear me. Move! Let's put that thought for another time let, and settle with this problem first. With this currently glaring problem. Uh, Gungnir is the only thing I have left, so I shall use the Gungnir. You lock? Yes. Is that all? Yeah, I think that's all. Good. Very good. Anyways, back to my previous thought. Um, you know how I like to run Sneaky Doom, right? Occasionally, I do switch over from running NFRs of ES Destructor to, you know, Sneaky Doom to show how I can do the old maximum stealth and, well... <laughs> well, no, sorry, that's a bit showing off and braggy. No, no, no I'm not gonna do that. But anyways, yeah, like I said before, I like to do sneaky doom runs. So, well, Cronus Camp is right over my alley, you know? And, well, for a good while, it is. It's a very good stealth horror mod. There's a... Um, the dynamic music's a bit wonky, but, you know, it does deliver on the very suspenseful aspect. And... It went really well for about two episodes, and then the third episode fall completely very much apart. Because it kind of just tosses the stealth aside and just turns into enemy sees you one two shot dead. No matter what, no matter what distance you put between your enemy or well how hidden you are in the darkness, they just see you no matter what, which was really unfortunate. It's probably the one that I, I I'll probably say play Cronus Camp until you reach the bit where all of your weapons are wiped out. And then just stop. Just just stop. That's that's all the good parts done. The rest of it is just not very excellent. You know, I think this is probably the first time ever when I very much just show a distinct contempt for something that is good but has something that is unpleasant. Like every time people have um mixed up feelings regarding something, I do 
kind of go towards the more positive side like you know half-life and zen i love zen i love the weirdness and even even the platforming bits uh, fps platforming people say that it's not not very good and well people should put less platforming in fps and for me i like platforming in fps i want to jump more i want to do more hops and skips and you know i have to maybe think while doing those hops and skips while getting shot at which means like things like golden souls are up my alley well you know and well i think this is the first time that i that there's a contentious setting that i do actually go around the side and went to the negative i remember just being really angry when running episode 3 just dying constantly no matter what what method what strategy i take it's just dead oh i'm sorry you wanna stealth this bit in a mod that's primarily focused on stealth and getting heavily punished for doing stealth badly oh i'm sorry here's a rifle slug through your head eat sand Anyways, I'm sorry. I'm spreading negativity. I should be spreading positivity. Well, actually, not not even that. Uh, it's feedback, I guess, when you think about it. And well, feedback is important to improve on something. That's kind of the thing about me and feedback. I, uh, people can be harsh, yes, but I do appreciate it when people tell me if I'm doing something wrong or well, if I'm being a complete loony and regarding some things. Sometimes I listen, sometimes I don't. Some people tell me that my, my voice is terrible and that I should never again voice do a commentary run of something. And that I should just do nothing but NFRs because that's really the only thing that they watch. And some people think that my commentary is welcome and NFR should be lower maybe so that they could hear about my opinions on things because people for some reason actually do listen to my word for some reason. I'm not. I'm not an authority in anything. Don't listen to me. If you have, if you have an opinion about something, leave it as your own. Don't take mine. But well, I guess it's just like that sometimes. It's just like that. Anyways, I've been meandering around here for a bit here, just kind of going through a stream of consciousness. And I think right now I should focus on the task at hand. To remember again why I came here. To settle the score with another one of Goal family's bloodline. There we go. It it got sucked in my mind tunnel a little bit, but it got there at the end. It got there. Those three guys are nothing. Nothing at all. Okay, where does this lead to? It leads up there maybe? Yeah, probably. Thought it was going to be another one of those bits again where MP2 forgot how architectural design work and would just have something lead to something that's uh, very dodgy in actual architecture. Okay, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Very good. Can I use this? No. Well, you lads um, mully around there. I'm sure the moment I kill Contessa Goal, everyone's just gonna be, you know, jump over their little praying trance. And be, and be like, wow, you are praying to this to this lady here? <laughs> How silly of us. Oh, hello there. I think I've seen you before. Dear me. Oh, wow, okay. Very good, very good. I look forward to seeing more of you. Or not. Well, I probably won't be seeing more of you considering how you're dead. I always wonder what those blue guys are. Navy commanders, perhaps? I mean, yeah, we are pretty close to the to the water here. That could very much be the the um the Morden's navy commander. Sorry, I keep missing information out of my head. When, you know, I just spent a good 15 minutes just reading nothing but the backstory of the mission. 
That's the thing about my memory. Sometimes it's funny. Some things stay behind for a long time. Other things just escape immediately. The moment it's registered, and oh yeah, sure, uh, your memory has been registered and has been. Excuse me. I wish I could throw you off the ledge to your tomb, but alas, not such luck. Also, another blue armor. I don't need. I'm getting a lot of very good supplies here, and I'm just not using them. Very generous. Either that, or you know, my usual tactic of being heavily resource in managing intensive. Once again, allows me to just do shenanigans like this willy nilly. Where I'd get punished not so harshly because, you know, I actually manage my stuff and not just walk over them with no remorse. <laughs>